that retouching the face in Photoshop and removing the blemishes and the imperfections, it's easy. But when it comes to the video, it's a totally different story. It requires another whole level. In today's video, I'm going to show you my favorite plugin that you can install directly to Premiere Pro. I've tried so many plugins before, but this one is the one that I like the most, Beauty Box. Because it's the only one that can give you a beautiful smooth skin tone by removing the imperfections and blemishes while preserving the detail of the face. The other plugins, either they washed up the face completely or they do something weird to the face or they change the color. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below for you to download the demo to try it for yourself and see if you like it or not then you can go with the full version so after installing the plugin this is the clip that we're gonna work with and the first thing that we need to do is to pick up a hero frame then let's go to the effects and search beauty box double click on it or drag it to the clip that we're gonna work with okay now let's go to the effect control and this is the effect as you can see it's already applying a little bit of smoothness to the face this is the before and this is the after and the first thing we need to do is to scroll down to this analyze frame and the way that this works is picking up the color of the face for you and applying the smoothness to the face so you don't have to select the colors manually it's basically doing the job for you once it's done if you like it it's fine but the way that I like to work with this plugin is to do everything manually to have more control for the best result Let's go over here and, and rest everything. And now go here and select this light color. And we're basically gonna select the brightest color in the face. And now go back here and we're gonna do the same thing, but this time we're gonna select the darkest color in the face. As you can see, we perfectly selected the color of the face and we're gonna be sure that this effect is gonna be applied only in the face. And now let's go over here to this smoothing amount and add more of it if you like the face to be more soft or you can make less. It's totally depend on the model that you're working with. In this case, I'll keep it around 30, it's good. As you can see, the face is really soft. And now we need to recover the details of the face. Go to the skin detail smoothing and decrease the numbers. And this is what I like about this plugin. It's giving you the option to recover the detail of the face while smoothing the face. Does that make sense? Okay, let's move on to this contrast enhance and increase the numbers to recover some contrast from the face. Next, click on this show mask box to see if you have perfectly selected the color of the skin. The white color is where the effect has been applied. And check it again and go over here to this preserve small details and increase the number until you've seen the small detail of the face start being recovered. And now what we need to do is to add a little bit of sharpen. And I think now we need to add more smoothness to the face. This is what I like about this plugin is you have so many options to choose from and you can adjust the smoothness however you want. If you want to push this more further, all we need to do is to make a mask around the face and Premiere Pro is really good at tracking the face. Alright folks, if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to not miss out any future videos and, and leave a comment. Why not? See you in the next one.